Welcome back to another episode of the Fog Dog Exclusive. Uh, today is race day, so racing another 1500 this afternoon. Uh, two weeks ago today, I ran a 348 uh, season opener, first 1500 since June 2019. All right, so just to give you a quick bit of context and a bit of meaning behind this 1500 meter race, uh, two weeks earlier, I ran my first 1500 back since June 2019, where I ran my PB of 340. And in this first race back, I came second in 348. Uh, I didn't think I ran all that well. And so now I've done two more weeks of speed work. I'm feeling a lot better going into this race. And my absolute goal is to get back under 345 for the 1500. Will that happen? Who knows? You're about to find out. Enjoy the video. Uh, and I think that doing that will hopefully allow me to not necessarily PB in two weeks time, but hopefully get somewhere at least under about 345. Uh, and if I can do that, then I'm definitely heading in the right direction. Uh, so I've done a couple more weeks of speed work now and I'm about to do a like five minute shakeout. Uh, and then racing this afternoon at about 20 past four. So plenty of time before the race. It's currently 8.15 in the morning. Uh, so I'm gonna do like a five or 10 minute shakeout and then relax all day and head to the track probably about 2, 2.15. So should be hopefully in for a good one. Uh, stay tuned and we'll see you in a bit before we head out to the track. Fuck God. Just got back from the shakeout. Here we have it. What do we have? 1.35k, 4.34 per kilometer, uh, 121 heart rate, and six minutes and 11 seconds. So nothing big, uh, just a little jog this morning. Uh, if you don't follow me on Strava, definitely give me a follow. We are slowly approaching that 2,000 follower mark. So yeah, get around it if you haven't already. Uh, look at this taper as well, so 38.4k for this week so far and it's Saturday right now, so uh, over the last few weeks I've really dropped it down, um, so 90 last week, 109 the week before, 121, 136, uh, and then a few weeks at about 140 before that, so uh, tapered a bit for this um, and I think after this race I'm probably going to chill a bit. Uh, and then build back up for some more races in a few weeks time, hopefully. All right, so now that I've done my shakeout, uh, I'm sitting down for my breakfast. So this morning, uh, we got cereal covered by fruit. So we got raspberries and blueberries, obviously. Uh, the oat milk that I have on my cereal. Uh, I'm not lactose intolerant or anything, but oat milk is actually really nice. So I've got into drinking that. Uh, shout out to Joe Cruz, my housemate in America. Uh, he got me onto it and I haven't looked back uh, ever since the start of this year. And as well, as always, got the smoothie. Uh, this has a couple of bananas in it, blueberries, coconut water, water, honey, injera, uh, a whole mixture of some pretty good stuff. So gonna have that, gonna have my cereal, uh, and then yeah, pretty much just relax for the day. Um, it's actually really windy in Brisbane today, so I think this afternoon at the track there's meant to be like 24, 25 kilometers an hour winds, so um, it is quite windy, but hopefully uh, it will actually die down a bit. And the track, I don't know if you saw in a video a couple of weeks ago, my first 1500 um, of 2020, the track is actually in a stadium, so hopefully 
uh, it will be blocking the wind out a bit uh, so that it isn't too windy. Uh, and this afternoon as well, we're going to have Luke Bike McCutcheon. He's going to be pacing with Stefan Petrovic as well. So the plan is that they're both going to try and get to the 800 mark uh, in about two flat, hopefully just under two minutes uh, if possible. But if, if it ends up being two flat, then that is absolutely fine. Uh, even like 201, 202 would be okay as well. And then hopefully uh, I'll feel good enough to kick it down and hopefully try and break 345 for my second 1500 back um, this year. So looking forward to it. Enjoy the video. Gonna eat my cereal and then relax for the day. And then we'll see you out at the track this afternoon. Bike. Morning, brother. Morning, brother. All right, it's just gone half past two and we're on our way to the track. We've actually had some bad news. Stefan Petrovic has pulled out. So it is now just Luke Bike McCutcheon pacing, um, which will be fine. Uh, Stefan wasn't feeling 100% and so didn't want to risk it with all of the COVID stuff happening right now. I mean, probably unlikely that he's got COVID, but you got to uh, play it safe. And so he's staying at home. And yeah, so we're heading to the track. Um, racing at 20 past 4, so I've got a couple of hours. Uh, the wind is still quite bad, so if you look on here, uh, the wind, 26k an hour right now where we are. So, not ideal, but it's alright, and hopefully Luke will be in front for a while, and then, yeah, I'll give it my best shot. So, should be good. Uh, warming up in a bit, and then we'll be racing. So, see you in a bit. Saying hello. Uh, g'day. G'day. Yeah, the bike, the bike has arrived, so I've arrived. Yeah, I'm both here ready to go. I'm ready to roll. So we'll be probably into the race. Alright, so here we go, the race is off and running. Uh, I'm wearing the black singlet, the Nike singlet that you would have just seen me warming up in with the black Nike half tights uh, and the white Nike dragonflies, the exact same kit uh, that I wore in my first 1500 back in 2020, uh, the video that came out a couple of weeks ago. And Luke Bike McCutcheon straight away, he's gone straight to the lead, uh, coming up to 200 here in about 28 high, I think it was. Uh, and so he's done exactly what we wanted. Uh, he's gone to the front, he's in the lead, and yeah, the race has got off to the start exactly how we planned for it to go. Uh, Luke leading and me tucked in right behind him. Alright, so coming up to the 400 split there just in about 59 seconds, uh, it was going absolutely perfectly, Luke still in the lead, uh, 59 on the clock as we went through 400, uh, I was still tucked in right behind Luke, everything was going well, I was feeling really quite good, 
Uh, in comparison to the race a couple of weeks ago, I felt a lot stronger. Uh, and I think definitely having it quick from the start and having Luke Bike McCutcheon right in front of me uh, through these first couple of laps really helped. Uh, I knew that we had a job to do and I just tucked in behind. Luke did what he knew he could. Uh, and yeah, we just got out to a good start. And now we're coming up to the 700 meter mark here. And we go through in about 145, which is bang on 345, 1500 pace. So if I can hold that and then close quite hard, um, I should be on for a pretty decent time. Here you can see Luke just pulling off to the side. I go through 800 in two flat high, so the pacing was absolutely perfect. Uh, Luke did his job, pulled off to the side, and that left me in the lead with 700 to go. Uh, so going down the back straight here, the clock is just on 215 at the 900 meter mark. Bang on 345 pace still. So uh, I knew that we were running quite fast. I knew that if I could close hard, I'd be under that 345 mark and I knew that there was still someone behind me. So here with 500 to go, uh, about 2.30 on the clock, so still on that 3.45 pace, uh, I really put my foot down and tried to uh, do my best to really start my push for home. And I go through the bell here in 2.45, uh, so I knew that if I could close in under a minute for the last lap, it would be a sub 3.45 performance for my second 1500 back. And going through 300 to go here, uh, 2.59 on the clock, I knew that if I could just close hard, uh, a decent time was going to be coming my way. Alright, here we are with about 150 metres to go. Uh, I knew that I had the race in the bag. I knew that I was coming into the home straight uh, and I was going to win it but I could see the clock up ahead at the end of the home straight and I really wanted to push for as fast a time as I could. Uh, it was definitely tough solo out the front for that last 700, uh, but it was perfect having Luke out the front for that first 800 and it took me around to a 342.94, which I am very happy with. This race was actually very stacked with some very good 1500 runners. Uh, so Alex Stitt ended up coming through to take second in 347 and Jude Thomas ended up coming through in third in 351. Also, I just want to give a big shout out to Vic Pasco for the race footage. Uh, I will leave a link in the description and you can go and check out his channel. Uh, he films pretty much every race at every Queensland Athletics meet and championships uh, and he puts them on his YouTube channel. So if you want to watch some cool races, definitely check the link in the description and you will find them on his channel. What do you think then, Fog Dog? Much better than two weeks ago. Uh, very happy with that. I think 342. There's still no results. Uh, QA Queensland Athletics live results are not very live today. Um, but two weeks ago, I ran 348. So I've taken probably five and a half, six seconds off that. Um, so I'm really happy with that. And today, obviously, had Luke to 800 um, pacing me. I think I went through in about two flat, maybe 201, maybe maybe even just under two. But I think it was about two flat uh, paced by Luke Bike McCutcheon. So he did a great job out the front. Uh, and then from 800 in, obviously, solo. Uh, really happy with that. I kind of pushed it down the back straight in that um, third lap from like 800 round to 1200 um, and then yeah in the bell lap just kind of gave him my all really went for it uh, and yeah it paid off uh, very windy uh, you probably heard in the video I might have done a commentary uh, you can probably even hear the wind right now so if it's really windy again um, but very windy so yeah I'm hoping that in another few weeks there'll be another race and fingers crossed I will run quicker, maybe get a PB, maybe break 340, maybe go quicker, who knows. Uh, so yeah, really happy with it. Uh, and with that, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Next week on Fog Dog Exclusive. Hi there, where's Fog Dog? Fog Dog, uh, 
Um, I think he's having a sleep. Frog dog, you've got your holiday session. The holiday session. Frog dog is back with another workout video while he is on holiday at the Sunshine Coast in Australia. See him take on a tough tempo and 400 meter repeats in what is rumored to be one of Fog Dog's most difficult sessions to date. I've never felt worse in a tempo. <clears throat> Was it the hill? I don't know, I just feel awful. See all of this and more next Thursday, October 15th, 7pm Central Time. Only on the Fog Dog Exclusive.